Okay, so we are looking at the parts of speech. And now this video will be about pronouns, the different types of pronouns. So, as you know, a pronoun is a small word that takes the place of a noun or another pronoun. We have different types of pronouns that we use. A personal pronoun, a reflexive pronoun, intensive pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, interrogative pronoun, indefinite pronoun, relative pronoun. So a personal pronoun refers to the person making a statement, the person being addressed, or the person or things the statement's about. That's a personal pronoun. And we know these pronouns. Look at this list. I, me, my, mine, we, us, our, ours, you, your, yours, she, he, it, him, her, hers, right? So we are talking about referring to the person making a statement, the person being addressed, or the person the statement's about. That is a personal pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. A reflexive pronoun follows a verb or it follows a preposition and it refers to the preceding noun or pronoun. In other words, it refers back to something. It refers back to a noun or pronoun before it. I talk to myself. Myself is a reflexive pronoun referring to I. I, myself. The example here is myself, yourself, herself, himself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. Those are called reflexive pronouns. Intensive pronoun. An intensive pronoun emphasizes a noun or another pronoun. Emphasizes, emphasizes, makes it intense, gives attention to it. So it's the same as reflexive. It's when you say, I myself have never been a cheater. I'm saying I twice, I myself, because I'm telling you, no, I've never cheated. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, repeat it with, a, with an intensive pronoun. And it's the same list, myself, yourself, himself. Okay, demonstrative pronouns. You know these pronouns, you just probably didn't know that they were called demonstrative pronouns. It's when you point to something, you say this, that, these, and those. This, that, these, those are demonstrative pronouns. You're demonstrating, usually with a gesture, you're pointing. You point to it. This, that, these, those. Demonstrative pronoun. Interrogative, you remember the four types of questions. I'm um, sorry, the, <laughs> I gave the answer. The four types of sentences, when you studied grammar as a, a child, you had your declarative, right, and so forth. Interrogative was the question sentence. So interrogative pronouns signal a question. And you already know these, but you didn't know they were called interrogative pronouns, perhaps. Who, what, when, where, why, right? Those kind of questions. Uh, so, so if you say who, to whom, whose is this, which is it, what is it? Those are interrogative pronouns that signal a question. An indefinite pronoun, so you know what definite means. Indefinite means not definite. It means it's not specifically clear who you're talking about. Both, all, most, many, anyone, everyone, several, none, some. You have to look at the rest of the sentence or the sentences around this pronoun to know what you're talking about. 
because it's indefinite. It's not clear. Okay, and a relative pronoun introduces an adjective clause. A group of words together with an adjective, an adjective clause. It introduces an adjective clause by relating it to a word in the clause. Yeah, that sounds tricky. Let's look at the example. Who, whom, whose, which, that. So it would sound like this. Um, Miss Guy Smith is my teacher uh, who is teaching me about grammar. So the who refers to... I think that's correct. I hope it's correct. <laughs> Another example from the grammar book is the merchants who are eager. I'll say that again. The merchants who are eager for sales shout to customers, come here, come here. So that who is a relative pronoun.